I'm joined by the Racing and Football Outlook's Nick Watts. First of all, we're going to focus on the Group 1 July Cup at Newmarket this weekend. So, Nick, um, ground's key here, really, isn't it? And Baited Breath's current favourite has the best form in the race, but really ground is a concern for him. Yeah, it's, it's getting boring talking about the weather, but, I mean, you mm. can't do anything but, really. Um, huge amount of rain forecast for Newmarket prior to Saturday. So it's, it's got to be in doubt whether Bated Breath even runs. We know that he doesn't like anything with the word soft in the description. Um, even at Ascot last time, when it had dried up considerably, he still wasn't considered to be quite at his peak um, when he was second behind Little Bridge. Um, and so I don't think the ground will be any better than it was at Ascot, mm -hmm. certainly. I think it'll probably be a good deal worse. So it's, it's difficult to see him running, even harder to see him winning and getting breaking his you know, Group 1 duck. And um, your, yours is quite an interesting selection in this race, I thought. It's Sapoy, um, ex-Peter Snowden. Um, he was a bit of a superstar in Australia, but since he's come over, he ran in May down, didn't really handle the track there. But you think he could win this? I do, although listening to connections, I have to have reservations about the ground as well. Um, nine of his ten wins in Australia came on good to soft or soft ground, although whether you can equate that to British good to soft and soft, I really don't know. Um, it's probably a little bit better over there than um, than it would be over, the equivalent would be over here. Mm -hmm. um, I do think he's an interesting contender if he's if he's at his best. Yes, he hasn't run since disappointing in the Golden Shaheen, um, but a few points to make about the horse. Um, this is going to be his last race before he goes to stud in Australia. Um, they'll be wanting to go out with a bang, obviously in the race sponsored by um, uh, Darley Stud. Um, he's definitely got good enough to win it if he's back to his best. Um, really top form in Australia mm -hmm. last year. Um, it was always the plan to come here straight after the Golden Shaheen, so the lack of a run doesn't particularly concern me because they would have been able to get him ready at home. Um, and I'm just interested in the fact that they had Sol in this race, Godolphin, for quite a long time. He goes to Newbury now on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, Sol was fourth in the Golden Jub Diamond Jubilee um, behind Black Caviar, one place in front of Society Rock. Um, and I think they probably think that Sepoy is quite a bit better than Sol. Mm -hmm. So I'm just interested that they've rerouted Sol to Newbury. Sepoy still goes for the July Cup. Frankie Tatori rides. Um, if there's, you could guarantee a bit of good ground, then I think he'd go very well. But one that will, will handle the ground is Society Rock. I know you're keen on him if Sepoy doesn't run. And he was unlucky in the Diamond Jubilee, missing the break. Yeah, I, I'm almost keen on him by default in a way, because if, if conditions go as I expect them to, then... You're just looking at something that's going to handle it. And I think there's quite a few that won't, including Hortensia and Bated Breath and Strong mm -hmm. Suit. Um, those three to name, you know, I can't see handling handling that kind of ground at all. But Society Rock, you definitely can. You know he will, in fact. Um, and like you said, he was unlucky. It's very annoying in the Diamond Jubilee last time. I'd, I'd put him up for the race. Um, really keen on his chances to to ruin the fairy tale of Black Caviar, and I think he might well have done it if he hadn't sat down in the stalls and lost mm. a couple, you know, at least two or three lengths. The way he was finishing on the heels of the leaders, he wouldn't have been very far away at all if he got off, got away on terms. And the difficulty with him is you'd always fancy him to run a big race at Royal Ascot in the Diamond Jubilee because he always does. That's the time to bet him. You do wonder now if, you know, you've missed your chance with him, really. Um, yeah, he's got the potential to win a race like this, but... You know, you've always just got that bit more confidence in him at Royal Ascot because he always gets prepared for that and always runs a big race there. 